wardrobe. Um, it comes in two parts, um, the wardrobe does section. Um, so I'm going to do a little bit now, a little bit later. Um, I have no idea what that's a reference to, but Sophie does. So I'm sure she'll give you a high five if you do later. Um, so yeah, I want to talk about um, this thing that is called first contact evangelism. What does that mean? Um, good question, everybody. So um, it's about like um, going out and meeting people for the first time, um, engaging people um, from, a, from a cold start, um, people that we usually haven't met before, um, to try and um, engage with them, help them to grapple with some big ideas, um, and hopefully lead them to talking about Jesus. Um, so, um, you remember last week for the Tony Walker thing, um, Jamie orchestrated, uh, Jamie and James orchestrated a, a kind of trolley um, that had a, a question and then uh, balls that you could put in either end of the trolley to indicate um, which uh, answer you felt was, was, uh, was best for the question. Um, so, we'll be doing um, all sorts of things like that during Wonder, these sorts of um, interactive um, uh, exhibitions. Um, to, to help um, start conversations, to help um, engage with people. Um, so yeah, I want to now, um, very quickly and easily, and I'm going to enlist Jamie for this. He doesn't know what I'm about to do, um, but it's going to be fine, Jamie. So, um, so I want to very quickly um, act out, not really, um, uh, as if um, I was somebody on one of the stalls, so I might be with um, yeah, there's a picture there of last year. We did big question boards, so um, a, a board with a with a question on it that would um, help um, spark conversation about some of the topics of the talks. Um, so very quickly, um, me and Jamie are gonna are gonna show what it's like to start a conversation from from cold. Um, if you're standing out on on one of those things, um, so I'm gonna have a quick a quick meeting with Jamie. Oh, thanks, man. Um, okay. So let's pretend that this stand is the board, or the whatever, the trolley. Um, Jamie's going to walk by, he's, a, he's just an average geezer. Um, and uh, yeah, and then I'm, I'm going gonna, I'm gonna to ask him a question. Oh, he's already gone, I missed it. Um, um, yeah, um, I'm going to just, uh, just gonna show how easy it is to start a conversation. Um, so let's pretend Jamie's walking past, here's my thing. Um, go. Excuse me, excuse me, mate. Can I ask you a question? Uh, yeah, go on then. Make it quick. Uh, <laughs> what, what, what do you think of this thing? What is it? Great. Okay, that was the whole thing. Um, <laughs> so I didn't do that very well. But anyway, so the, the main point was all you've got to do. <laughs> you, yeah. That's right, Jerry. Jerry was excellent. Considering you have no idea what's going on. That was excellent. Okay. So, in theory, that should have gone like this. So, Jamie walks past as an average punter. Um, all I say to him is, excuse me mate, can I ask you a question? Um, and that um, is just a great question that opens up a whole plethora of responses. Um, so people, lots of people will be like, nah mate, I haven't got time. Um, or they might you know, tell you I haven't got time afterwards. Um, uh, but lots of people will be like, yeah, okay, you can ask me a question. And then um, all you do after that is go, what do you think of this thing? Um, the thing, so whatever question we've got related to um, the, the, the talk that will be on later that day. Um, so, um, use that as a thing. Um, ask, can I ask you a question? And see where it goes from there. Um, after that, you're, you're rolling and uh, yeah, it's all up to, all up to God, basically. Um, so yeah, that's how that works. Boom. So the second thing that I want to do in this part of the Woodrow Does um, section is talk about feedback forms. Um, so you may have seen them before, they look something like this. Oh, so smooth. There we go. Um, so um, you may have seen it. at the, the end of our um, events. Um, we we have these little these little pieces of paper that are about that big um, to um, to allow people to respond um, to the stuff that was brought in the event. So if um, if there's a kind of uh, a call at the end saying um, you know do you want to respond uh, to find out more or do you want to um, say investigate further. Um, then tick a little thing on this box, so you've got count me in if you want to like go for it and become a Christian and stuff. Um, tell me more if you want to investigate more. Um, so um, it's a really um, helpful way of um, catching the people who do actually want to um, explore further. 
Um, so uh, I want to quickly show you how to fill one out if you're a CE member. So I think all, all through Wonder, we're going to encourage that everybody does the, uh, the feedback <coughs> forms at the end. So there'll be a time when the speaker's done his talk and he's gone, if you want to you know, if you want to fill out a feedback form to say anything, uh, pass on any comments, go for it. I encourage everybody, uh, whether you're a C member or, 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 or not, um, to, um, to fill them out to that point, um, to, to make it less of an awkward experience. I think it will be a barrier to people who want to respond if they kind of have to awkwardly be the only person who then picks up the feedback form and, and fills it out. Does that kind of make sense? Um, so, uh, this is a good way of filling them out. So, all, if you're a senior member, um, if you're already a Christian, um, please fill it out, but please only basically write your name in the name box. Um, don't tick, count me in, don't tick, tell me more, um, because it'll be quite hard to tell if you're, well, yeah, if you're already a C member, we don't want to do form up with you, because you're already there, mate. So, um, just leave out the boxes. That'll be much less confusing for the people then going through the feedback forms. Um, Hannah and Joe, who are our wonderful small four up team, um, can you like stand up or wave or something? Um, Hannah and Joe. There's Joe. Three. Okay, hashtag legends, those geezers. Um, but yeah, um, so they're great. Please be nice to them and uh, uh, yeah, fill those out in a way that's easy for them to go through. So I want to now quickly, off the back of that, plug the Explore team. So there's a little logo for that, I'm sure. There we go. Um, so yeah, Hannah, Hannah and Joe are leading this team, which is um, really important actually to the, the running of, um, of Wonder. Um, when people um, hear these talks and they want to respond, uh, we want to be able to uh, direct them to a place where they can find out more or where they can be um, nurtured and looked after in, uh, in their, their new faith um, that they have found. Um, so, um, Han and Joe kind of walk straight team that, that pick up all the, the feedback forms and then um, they use them to, to go and contact various people um, who have responded, um, so, which is a, quite a big task. Um, there's often quite a lot of those to get through and meeting up with people one to one, which is really what we want to do because uh, it's very personal and relational, um, is, is a big task. So uh, if you would like to be involved in that, um, let me encourage you. I think we'll post something in the Facebook group at some point with, a, with another Facebook group that you can join um, and uh, to get involved or come and speak to me or Joe. Um, but um, yeah, get involved in that because this, this, this is a great way um, to, to serve during Wonder. Um, and really on the business end of what the whole week is about. Um, so yeah, that is the end of part one of Woodrow Dust. I don't know what's next, but I'll pass over to you. Cool, thanks. Um, I'm back for the second part. So, um, this part, I want to talk to you about how to explain the gospel um, in a way that is jargon-free, in a way that is instantly and, and uh, easily accessible to somebody that's never heard it before. Um, so, um, in my, my classic style, before I tell you a good way of doing it, I'm going to tell you a really bad way of doing it. Um, so, um, I've got up here an example. Um, I'm going to read it to you. Um, listen to this. So, I've been justified by the atoning, substitutioning sacrifice of Christ Jesus, the Messiah, the incarnate deity, reconciled to God, redeemed from my idolatry and sin, I am being sanctified by the work of the Holy Spirit, and I am made righteous by the blood of Jesus Christ, the Lamb of God. Have you been washed in the blood of the Lamb? <laughs> um, so yeah, hopefully you can see that that is, it's full of rich theology, which is great. We love uh, these words that are, are full of rich meaning, um, but uh, we don't want to use them at the expense of coherence um, and accessibility to the non-Christian. Um, so I asked uh, our good friend Michael Green, um, who is one of the speakers coming uh, to come and uh, do the talks during Wonder. Um, he's an absolute legend. He's uh, I'm not going to say how old he is because that's rude, but um, he's very experienced. And uh, I asked him, "Can you can you give me a really good uh, one minute explanation uh, of what the gospel is when we are when we're at these events and when we're just talking to our friends uh, naturally and they ask, so what is it actually that you believe?'" Um, what is all this Jesus stuff about? Um, why do you care so much about this stuff? Why do you have to see you? What's it all about? Um, this is what Michael Green would say. It's one day explanation. If we're honest, we know we've done loads of things that are pretty lousy. 
obviously a holy God can't pretend they don't matter. The amazing thing is that he cared enough to come and sort us out. Jesus, the human embodiment of God, took personal responsibility for the muck of the whole of the world when he died on the cross. He suffered the separation from God that our actions deserved. What's more, he smashed the power of death by his resurrection. He is alive and in business. And we can get to know him personally if we invite him to share in our lives. He is more than willing. It's our call. So I hope you can see there that um, it really gets across the, the content of the gospel um, using everyday language, using the kind of uh, words that we would use naturally just talking about anything really. Um, so yeah, what, what, what are the things he's getting across there? He's getting across the idea that we've messed up, the world is broken, um, and, and we've done some lousy things, as he says. Um, God is perfect, and he can't just sweep it all under the carpet. But, and this is a massive but, God himself has cared enough to come and sort it all out. Um, God came as a human just like one of us, Jesus, to take responsibility for all our mess and brokenness by dying on the cross. He suffered the separation from God that our actions deserved. Not only that, but by his resurrection, he's completely changed the game. Death is no more. He's alive and wants to know you. And if we surrender our lives to him and put him at the center, we can know and enjoy a relationship with God. So that's really the heart of what it is to be a Christian. That's the gospel. Um, and uh, that's, the, that's the message we want to share with people um, during Wonder. Um, so um, get, that, get that into your head. Um, <laughs> uh, have, a, have a think through that. Um, have a think if, if your friend asks you, so what, what, is, what is all this about? Uh, would you be able to, to just in one minute say, it's about this? Um, it's a really helpful way to be able to um, get the message across in, in normal, everyday conversation. Um, so yeah, cheers guys. Bye.